Paul, thanks for joining us. It is Fortress Brisbane Road. It's another victory at home. And what a performance and what a debut from young Jaden Wareham. Yeah, listen, he's been chomping at the bit. He's been unlucky because he's missed out on the last couple of squads. Uh, but he's trained really well. And tonight got his chance and he, and I thought he took it really well. You know, two goals. Maybe could have had a hat trick if we'd been a little bit harsh. But listen, that's what you want from players. We've got competition all over the pitch. And that's what you want when you come in, come and take your chance. Tom James is going to have his own goal of the season competition. That was one of the better ones, wasn't it? Yeah, Tom, Tom's got fantastic ability. He can score from anywhere. He's great with right foot, left foot. He's some, first and foremost, he's a, he's a great defender. He's a great right back. You know, But when he can add in with goals like that and the free kicks, the shots that he has and the goals he's got this season, it's just an added bonus for us. With such a big game coming up on Saturday, I have to ask you about potential injuries. No, I mean, Duke came off tonight. We don't know where he is. We'll have to assess him later. Um, apart from that, I think we're all OK at the minute. So we'll go into training tomorrow and uh, assess every player ready to travel up on Friday. I'm sure I wasn't alone when I saw the team sheet trying to work out who was going to play alongside Shadrick <laughs> Ogie. Darren Prattley, is this a, a new move in his career? Uh, listen, I think Pratt's could play anywhere on the pitch for us. He's, he's that enthusiastic, he's that energetic, he's that fit, you know, and he knows the game so well that I think he could play anywhere. And I thought he was brilliant again tonight. You know, 37 years old and credit where credit's due to him. He comes in, he trains like a Trojan every day and puts in a performance like that again at centre-half. You know, you wouldn't know he was on the centre-half. Theo Archibald seemed to enjoy that freer role this after, uh, tonight. Yeah, I mean, Theo, again, he's just coming back from injury, so it's important that he got some more minutes and we, we get him up to match speed where we want him. And I think he showed tonight how bright he is and how sharp he can be. Um, so, yeah, he's on his way now to push him for a start. Jordan Brown is so flexible, isn't he? Yeah, listen, but we've got, we've got a squad of players like that. You know, people can fill in, people can play anywhere. Jordan, again, is another one. He's been patient. He's been coming off the bench along with Craig, doing really well in games when we need to kill it and keep the ball. And he's done well. And we asked him tonight, he's played in midfield, he played at right back, he played at centre back. He just doesn't let you down. You know, and we've got a lot of players that can come and do that for us. It's been a big few days for Jaden Sweeney and he's seized on the opportunity. He has. Listen, it's, it's been great for him. I mean, got told a stat the other day he hadn't played a home game, uh, a league home game for us or started a league home game. So that was the monk off his back Saturday. And again, this is his third game on the spin now. Um, it's just continuity with him. Get him playing. Same with all the players. You know, you get games into him and he's benefited from Rob Hunt being, being out injured at the minute and he's taken his opportunity. On another night, it would have been a clean sheet for Sam Sargent. Yeah, listen, clean sheet would have been nice, you know, but... We knew we had to come and win this game tonight um, and give ourselves a chance going into the last game at Chelsea. I think we'd be disappointed with the goal we conceded, but we showed great character second half and kept persevering with what we'd done uh, and got the third goal with Tom to kill him off. Can we look ahead now to that uh, table-topping game on Saturday? It's a long journey, especially if you're trying to get there by a train. Um, Barrow, got to be the surprise package. Yeah, they are. I mean, listen, they're up there for a reason, though. You know what I mean? And we won't be taking them lightly Saturday. Uh, we'll prepare properly and make sure we go into it fully organised and ready to go. Rob Hunt, is he possible? No, Rob, I don't, Rob won't make it for Saturday's game. Uh, it's a little bit too early for him yet. But he's, he's, he's going well. He's coming along at a good speed. Um, we've just got to be careful and not rush people back now. Adam Thompson? Tomo's the same. I know I said we had no injuries, didn't I? But there's two of them already. Uh, Tomo's the same. Uh, Tomo might maybe 50-50 maybe for for Saturday but it could again still be too early and again we've got people that can fill in like you say Jordan Brown and things like that that we don't need to rush them we'd rather if we have to give them an extra few days we'll give them an extra few days and make sure they're right when they come back they're ready to go for the rest of the season and what about Dan Happy? Yeah, Haps is fine. It's brick precaution Saturday. Uh, yeah, Saturday was it to bring him off. So, but Haps is fine. Um, he's trained. He's been in training yesterday and in today. So he'll be fine. He'll train, train tomorrow, train Friday, and be ready to go Saturday. Just how important is it to keep this winning habit, particularly here in E10? Yeah, listen, it's, it's vitally important, you know. And winning games breeds confidence and I think you show we go on the pitch and we feel like we're going to win every game you know but that doesn't mean we take anything lightly and we come away from the basics that we're doing you know we do the basics really well and we keep on striving to be better Um, we've got a group of players in there and I don't just mean the 11 I mean the whole squad that want to come and play and want to be in that starting 11 And, and they're pushing each other as well they certainly are. I would imagine someone like Zetch would be particularly disappointed not to get a, a chance tonight. Yeah, Zach, Zach's young. You know, he, he, his opportunity will come. He had an opportunity at Oxford, you know. But, but as I say, we've got a big squad and we've got to 
fit everyone in, you know, and we're trying to get everyone minutes to so that when called upon, they're ready to go. Uh, Zach's had a few games for the youth team as well, so that's helped him. Um, but it's nice for him to be back involved again tonight with us. Well, good luck for Saturday, and thanks for joining us tonight. Cheers, thank, thank you. you. Cheers.